at one time this was called Dirt Mart in you know, Skagville. And 922, they, they used to label this community the 922 ones. Claymont was a, you know, it has been long known to be a, 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 the pit of the world. You know, I mean, just not very good. As far as education was concerned, Claymont was like, as close as 10 years ago, was like the armpit of the world. That 922 stigma has, has always been around. I didn't, I didn't realize it until after I got out of school. And someone at Kent State would look at me and say, oh, you were from Dirtmont. This is actually the cleanest place they'll be, the warmest place they'll be, the, the only place that sometimes they have something to eat, and the only contact they'll actually have with friendly people. Because you know what? That kid needs a hug, he's gonna get a hug. I, I have to tell you, it's a miracle that some of these kids get out of it and want to come here. We weren't making the grade, our students were achieving poorly, and so there was a lot of issues with our schools and our students, you know, just not getting the job done. The students that are coming in, some of them have a poor home life. Uh, their mother may be working all the time and the father is not in the picture. Uh, the Claymont kids are outstanding. They are even though they are uh, from a low economic uh, area. And where we're going is to make every kid, when they walk in this room, that we're giving them the best education. They can make it.